Welcome to this new video. So today, guys, in the Whatever podcast, there is Candice Owens. Really, I'm really surprised about that. And we will see the conversation with the prostitute and only fan girls. And we will see how far the delusional women are. That's really crazy. And we enjoyed this kind of conversation. For you two, has... Being involved in prostitution, has it had any impact when it comes to your uh, romantic prospects? It's hard dating. Mm. Um, I've ran into a lot of insecure men. Typically, those are the ones that can't handle me doing what I do for work. That's the classic strategy, strategy of, of, uh, of modern women that will always try to manipulate you to say, if you don't accept the way they are, it's because you are insecure. No, no, baby girl, we don't like promiscuous women, period. And, um... What specifically are they doing that makes them insecure? Is it because they're insecure about your work? Yes, like, uh, I've had exes in the past that would cry about me going to work to dance at the strip club. Mm, okay. Um, I've had guys try to control, like, what I wear and uh, say that I can't work at strip clubs or do OnlyFans or whatever. They just want, they just don't want you to be disrespectful. That's it. Because when you go out, you represent your man. When you go out and you are, you are dressed in a certain way, it's, disres it's just disrespectful for, for, for your man. But you know, my, women always try to manipulate you, to say you are insecure. You need to let me go and do everything I want. Uh, if not, you are not a real man. That's it. Uh, so both of you do hands. Having done this, continuing to do hands, has it had any negative impacts on your dating prospects? Does it make it harder to date? Has it been maybe non-issue at all? Some guys like it. I've never had an issue with it, dating-wise. No one has ever, because I'm very upfront too. You know, first date, if this is what I do, if you don't like it, this is how I make my money. Unless you're going to pay me the same amount of money I'm making, then I'm not going to stop supporting myself. Um, but yeah, I never really ran into issues. But again, I don't do full pornographic content or anything like that. So it probably is a little bit different for somebody on OnlyFans that does do that type of content. Um, but I personally have never ran into an issue. My boyfriend at first was, you know, I told him and he was like, okay, well, if I'm going to date you, I have to be okay with this. And that was that. And I agree with uh, a certain way. Uh, it's true that depend on the man, some men have, um, can, uh, can accept you have only fun if you don't uh, do sex, something like that. Uh, maybe some 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 men can accept it, but okay. Right now you are a boyfriend, but let's see if you will uh, give you a ring. That's the real proof he agree to be in a relationship with uh, the only fine girl. Never been an mm. issue. Sorry, um, sorry, I was asking a question. What yeah. kind of content do you do on OnlyFans? Uh, mainly topless content. Okay, so and you currently have a boyfriend. Yes, I do. Okay. Just that's the extent of it? Yes. Okay. What about you, Essie? Um, I've also never had an issue um, in my dating life. I don't date that often though, but... Right, because uh, you've been single for six years. Yeah. So, but, but it might not necessarily be related to that you're not doing OnlyFans. Yeah. I also don't do um, nudes on OnlyFans, so it's just like lingerie content. Oh, okay. Um, so I think that uh, also maybe helps because I... I so, sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, question here for Candice. So, um, what are your thoughts on OnlyFans, uh, sex work, and do you believe that uh, a woman doing OnlyFans or porn might have an impact on her future romantic prospects? Uh, and if so, how and why? I can repeat any, that was yeah, a lot, so let no, me know no, if you're, you need me to repeat anything. Um, I, I talk about this extensively on my show. I mean, the truth is that if you are going to engage in sex work, you are going to probably make a lot of money, especially if you're young. Um, you're on a very tight rope as you get older, your value goes down, and men are going to want women that are younger and available to them. 
Um, I'm talking about in terms of just making the person who will subscribe to your OnlyFans page, you know. But let's be honest, it's, it's not just about the people who will subscribe on their, on their page. It's about every, every man. Every man. The pick of the woman is 23. Everybody knows it. So let's be real. In the dating market, I can understand it will be hurt some feelings, but in the dating market, the more the woman uh, get older, the, 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 the more her, their value uh, go down. It's, it's just a reality. Obviously, women, it's, you're, you're declining as you age. As, and um, the truth is, is that high value men don't want to date women that are sex workers or even women that aren't sex workers and lean into the whole talking about how sexy and then are, freely, are freely available on the internet for other men to see. What we're talking about is biological proclivity. Um, what men are doing when they first say, uh, ah, this sounds amazing to date a stripper or to date a prostitute or to date a sex worker, is there, there's this instinct to have sex. It's going to be amazing when they have sex all the time. But then when they realize that actually a form of wanting to be in a relationship is feeling that there's a mystery to a woman, that there's something that's yours, there's something that's sacred, there's something that's powerful and beautiful that just you share. And when they realize that they have to share that with other men, it completely diminishes the man. Um, a recent cultural example of that, obviously, is what's happening with Nina Agdal. Uh, she's not a sex worker by any means. Just, she just kind of said some sexy things on the internet um, about wanting cock and look at what... <laughs> I was not expecting that from Ken. <laughs> I'm just, I'm quoting her directly, so this is purely academic. Um, purely academic. Purely <laughs> academic, and look at what happens. You know, now Logan has become the laughing stock of other men as they piece together everything yeah. that she's ever said that's overtly sexual. And again, she's not a sex worker, but what happened is her value just completely plummeted because, uh, you know, they're this thing that men and me need to feel um, and I don't want to say possession in a way that sounds bad, because it's not bad. It's actually really beautiful. Um, and I'm lucky and fortunate that I get to experience that in my marriage, you know, and, and it's, it's something that women should strive toward. Women that make those exchanges in their youth, I think that's sad, and I do feel bad for me to Agdal, is because she said a lot of those statements when she was really young, she's probably your age. <laughs> um, and she, she had a camera, and she said it, and it lives forever, and now every man that she dates is going to say, Dylan Danis has made her available to everyone. And it's, it's I, I hope things work out between her and Logan, but if you don't think that that's going to impact Logan, or that's not actively impacting him as a man, it is. Um, Th that um, I realize is uh, the way she talk. She will talk with, you know, like kindly. And all the girl are just listening to her. So it's really important to take lesson about that. When you want to, to communicate a message, uh, it's better to really stay calm. You explain it the way it is. Um, because women are are really um, uh, emotional, so. So oh, with women, it's a trade-off. First thing you said was, I make money. This is about money. It's about money, but when it comes down to marrying these women, men men just don't oh, want and it. And that's exactly why I said that. It... Candice Cook. <laughs> this industry, I'm single until. Mm -hmm. I retire. I don't, but I still matter. I don't plan on doing this or getting married or finding the love of my life until I retire, yeah. like truthfully. And, and then after that, that, you see what happens in the end all. No, no, no. And then after that, I will be honest and truthful with the person that I will be getting married to or whatever, mm -hmm. and it'll be up to him to accept that, right? So, and I, and I, I, would... I ask myself if she's ignorant or if she don't get it. Oh, she don't want to get it. It will not change anything. Your past, especially when you do something on the internet, and she is a prostitute. She is a prostitute. She do only fun. She she's a she's a stripper. What kind of man will be happy to uh, to have children with you? What kind of man? That it sure it would be not a man uh, with option, because if a man have option, he will never take you like uh, the mother of his child. 
he, he, if a man have a choice between a prostitute to be the mother of his child and a woman she's not a prostitute you will take the woman she's not a, a prostitute just logic things but apparently they, they have really hard time to understand it so let me know what you think in the comment section and we will see the next video peace